his grandfather made him mentally tough. His grandfather said, listen, I don't care if you're deaf. You're like everybody else to me. You're gonna be like everybody else. You're never, ever gonna put your deafness in front of you, you being a human being. The number one thing, um, what I like in MMA is strength. You know, I prove, prove everyone wrong that I can climb up the mountain, you know, within the top. But everyone thought I was like a gatekeeper. No. Our team is just perfectly balanced and you don't see that in MMA. You know, you, you see guys jumping from coach to coach and camp to camp and how do you get the most out of that? We let Matt be who he's going to be and then we just try to make what he does better. Dove Home, he's the real deal. He gave me an awesome game plan. And as a trainer, he, he's phenomenal. He's got like a daily, daily animal. He knows all the opponent, you know, so it's all hammer. You need to change that one. And they said, for a kicker, all right, hammer. You need to change it for a takedown. So I like that. And my style as a head coach, I try to be like an NFL head coach. You know, an NFL head coach definitely has his hands in everything, but he has a quarterback coach. He has a linebacker coach. You know, he has an offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator. See how you lock your leg? Right, right. But you escape, you gotta push me, right? Yeah. Boom, boom. Right, right. My expertise is, is mixed martial arts. My expertise is how do you take the best of jiu-jitsu, the best of boxing, the best of Muay Thai, the best of wrestling, and combine it all for one person to go inside a cage and fight? That's what I do. Bruno, uh, with my jiu-jitsu uh, training, Duff and Bruno have been talking to other and it came in the back stomach. We are two weeks before the fight. You know, like we work with specific techniques. We're not going hard 100%. <laughs> able to drill many times, you know, like, so that on the time they need to perform, he will, will perform naturally. I never heard submission before, so I need to add a submission in my, my book, so, so I'm still working on it. Training in the pool, it's very important for us. We, we usually get there one time a week during training camp. Anaerobic training is, is exercise without the use of oxygen. We're doing a lot of anaerobic type of activity. Squeezing, picking guys up, you know what I mean? Things like that. You've got to train that way. And that's what we get out of the pool. Um, when you go underwater, obviously, you're not using oxygen. So what we do with Matt is we strap a 40-pound vest on him. He sinks to the bottom of the pool, and he runs the sprints from one end of the pool to the other. Training the pool is, is, is the worst uh, nightmare. <laughs> Trying to push my pain, trying to push over um, beyond my limit. There's the science behind it is it builds up red blood cells in your body. More red blood cells, more oxygen gets carried back to your lungs, and it translates to better performance during the fight. 